Um, what has changed with customers is they now have no time to waste. They want what they want and they don't want to be told what to do because they're very busy, they have very stressful lives and in this stressful environment and particularly in the new reality, they are under a lot of pressure and so they don't want to be told what to do. They don't want you to knock on their door. They want what they want when they want it and this makes them much more difficult for companies to deal with. They yell back, they have no patience, um, they want something for nothing and they're, and they're harder to deal with and what companies need to understand is their thinking has changed and therefore communication must be different now. Customers are more internal now which means they decide for themselves. So to communicate uh, the golden rule is you need to invite the person to decide. If you say we are the best they go but if you say, listen, we think we're the best, you come and tell us what you think, this is an invitation. No one wants to be told what to do or what to think anymore, but they want to be invited. So you offer information and invite them to decide. Here's another golden rule. Pretend everyone is internal unless they prove to you they're external. And in today's market, there's two kinds of internal, or there's two kinds of uh, customers, and it's a little bit, they're internal to you. So they don't want you to tell them what to do but they will listen to what other customers say. So they're external and influenced from the external by other customers. So for example, let's say you want to go to Paris and you want to book a hotel. So you find your price range, you find what, hotel, what area you want, you pick two or three hotels, and then you go look and see what other customers say. Right, so people are very internal to the people trying to sell them something, but they will listen to what other people say. Yes. It, this is very important for political parties and part of what I do in Canada when there's an election is I analyze the language used in the campaign. And uh, it depends on the context, but if, uh, uh, if political leaders say, you must vote this way, well now, uh, particularly since Arab Spring, they say, no thank you, we will do what we want. So if you tell people in an environment where they want to decide for themselves, they will not say yes to you. And this is happening in many countries now where the old government is being thrown out and they're used to using old communication. Old communication is authoritarian, you should do this. Well, people don't want to be told what to do anymore. Um, there are many professions in which people want to do exactly what they've always been doing. Uh, I, and I work with companies um, and organizations that actually want to apply some of these techniques around communication to improve what they do. But when we do open courses, the people who come on the open courses are in professions in which there's a lot of stress and pressure to perform and get results. Uh, you tend to have people more open to new ideas in business than you do in government. You have more uh, people that are open uh, when they have to bring in a result and they are accountable. So these kinds of professions, people are a little more open to a new idea that's going to help them either solve a problem or, or gain a benefit. Um, teachers, uh, I believe, this is my prejudice, but I believe that teachers uh, pick teaching because they do not like change. If you look at the teacher's environment, they've been 12, 14, 15 years in school. And then what do they do? They go to school to work. They don't choose to be a teacher because they're gonna, they want surprises. They choose to be a teacher because the environment is familiar. And one of the big challenges is to introduce changes into the education system. Because the teachers don't want it, the students don't want it, and the parents don't want it. They're used to the way things are. Um, this is similar in government. People are used to doing things the way they were doing them. First of all, you need to get people's attention. If you don't get their attention, nothing you do makes a difference. And in order to get people's attention, you have to be different. You have to do something unusual and unexpected so that people will look at you. This is the big problem in marketing. There are millions of billboards. Why should they look at your billboard? There are millions of advertising, millions of commercials. Why should we look at yours? And this is why creativity is very important because the first job of a good marketer is to get attention and then people will listen. You have to look at what everyone else is doing and do something else.